Okay, Colin. So I've got you up next to Pete Alonso because uh, I tried to find somebody on this iPad that that swings like you do um, with a similar style, and 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 I think that this comparison will will help you see something that that I think can help you out a little bit. So the big thing that I want to reiterate to you is just remember a, to load your back hip and not your back leg. So if you watch Alonzo and yourself, you're very similar in your negative movements. And if you look at Alonzo and you look at his head here and you kind of use this guy behind him in the sunglasses, excuse me, as a frame of reference, you can see as he gets his negative move into hip load that his head position hasn't really changed that much. He's gone down just a little bit. Again, we're using the dude in sunglasses as a reference point, okay? So negative movement into hip load, okay? Now, watching you, and we got the posters behind, and I can put a dot there, as we do our negative movement, you can see the significant difference in how you've gotten into your back leg more than your back hip. So again, watching Alonzo, almost no movement down, he's just getting into his back hip. You're really getting into your back leg and you know it kind of just kind of starts there because as we watch <coughs> excuse me as we watch Alonzo go forward you can see the path of his head I'm just going to go through his swing is pretty consistent down as you take your negative movement and get really into your back leg now, as we zoom in here and we look at your knee, so let's clear that and zoom, okay? You can see how it starts to turn back that way, right? We can't, it's really tough to get an efficient hip movement when we get so much into our back knee versus our back hip. And then what I like, and this is why you can hit the ball hard, is as your heel gets into the ground, right, you can see that your hands are still back. Um, I'd like to see your top hand a more of a fist away from a back shoulder, where you can see like Alonzo here. Again, very similar style, but he's a, li he's a little bit closer. It is possible to pull yourself back in. Um, but the big thing is, um, just trying to keep it simple here, going back to our first move, Okay, so Alonzo watching his head next to the guy in sunglasses, getting into his back hip. You can see immediately he's going forward. So I'm just watching this right here. Negative movement. See how it's immediately forward. Immediately forward. Where you can see how your hip is going back this way. And then we see more of it as that back knee turns out. And then as a result, as you watch your head through your swing, you can see how you get up and around. So again, the big thing is starting early. So we're watching here and we're watching here. And as we watch Alonzo, it's forward. It's into his back hip and forward. Whereas you're getting into your back leg and you can see relative to the net how your hip goes back. So that movement there versus his movement there. Again, just watching his back hip, watching your back hip. Watch yours. See how it goes back as you're getting into your back leg, getting your back hip outside of your back foot. Whereas he is getting into his hip and going forward, therefore he's able to turn and go directly to the ball and everything's going straight out. Whereas when we get into our back leg, now all of a sudden we can't get as efficient of a hip turn and our motion is more of this 
up and around type action. So what's really cool about it is like we can fix so much in our swing if we just think about I'm into my back hip and it goes forward again. We're just looking here versus here, seeing how as you get negative movement, say your back hip goes back, it's outside of your back foot and you're getting into your back leg versus Alonzo rocks into his back hip and immediately gets it going forward.